Okay, yeah. Okay, let's. You guys seem to like it. Jaden Animations released a new video. Why does it have a red bar? I don't know. I've accidentally clicked on this video multiple times, but I like nope. I'm record. I'm watching this for a video. No, so that's where that red bar came from. Let's start. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, but like, can it start, please? Can it, can it start? Can, can I? Okay, there we go. <gasps> so, how dare you commit that terrible crime of existing when I'm trying to record a video? I wonder why he exists. Except you, I've shoot. played a lot of Pokemon in my days. And by that, I mean I've played the same Pokemon game with various different skins. But I'm here today to show Why does it keep lagging out? Oh yeah, my computer's about to die. I should probably talk louder. My computer's about to die. Hopefully you can hear that the first time. Okay, it's one of, if not the most unique items. For a Pokemon game, Nintendo has published for our tiny little hearts. And that game is called Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. XD. A bit unfortunate, but it came out in 2005, so they get a pass. Why am I talking about it? I think it's an underground game not enough people know about. It does something different, kind of shakes up the formula. I don't know why it's, it's waggy. It's constantly overshadowed by its predecessor, Pokemon Coliseum. And, yeah, okay, I played it as a kid. I'm very biased. Is that what you wanted? See him. If, see him. And if you... Okay, also, whenever I watch one of Jaden's videos, like, on my, my phone... There's never background music, but whenever I watch it for a video, I hear the background music. My camera is extremely laggy. Not heard of it or played it. You're in for a treat today. The game opens up to a cargo boat. Why is it so laggy? Out at sea where we find the captain and guy who steers standing at the helm. All is calm and serene when suddenly they get swatted. And oh no! Not no ordinary SWAT today, folks. No, sir. This is a Lugia SWAT. They run out to see what's going on, and the captain looks up and makes this face as if he wants to kiss Lugia passionately on the lips. But Lugia is not here for kisses. He is here for the opposite of kisses. Murder. Which is crime. He hyperbeams the cargo ship, and then steals it. You That's bad. He just blasts the thing point blank and takes it away. Lugia's ship now. The presumably only two people on the entire boat fall into the water and are left to just drown in the ocean, I guess. Okay. Seems reasonable. Well, that was a bit raw. What are we, a minute in and two people are dead? Gen 10 could never. Hard cut to me because that's more important. You play as this boy kid named Michael, but actually his name is Jaden now because that's me. The game throws you into the middle of this intense looking fight between the Salamence and Metagross, both level 50. I don't know where I am, what the stakes are, who I am, but this ba battle seems really important and tough, so I'm gonna give it my all and immediately Oko it. I did it! Scream Oko? I you mean KO? You mean KO? My eyes, everything's blurry. Turns out I live in a friendly lab laboratory run by this Professor Crane and his lab guys. I get up and the only reason I'm doing this is because the last time, like a month ago, when I made this video, it has a hundred views, so I'm doing it for the views and also to satisfy the people in my va basement. But wait, are we still are we still recording? Hopefully, nobody heard that. Please don't call the police on me! Ah! Okay, we're gonna me. How good of a battler I've become. Aw, oh, thanks, man. Then he immediately necks me by telling me it's about time I go out and get myself more Pokemon besides my one lame Eevee. Backhanded compliment at a child, but I'll take it, I think. I go into Crane's office where him and my mom are talking, and he says he heard from the battle coach that my battling skills have improved dramatically and how proud he is of me. To which my own mom tells him to stop giving me compliments and praise because I'm gonna end up spoiled rotten. I don't know what 
kind of a response that is to a child receiving praise. Either I'm already a cocky little bastard, or I'm being currently emotionally neglected by everyone in this building. Whatever it is, I don't think it's healthy for my mental development. To make this mother look even worse, we realize her only other child, Jovi, is missing, and no one is looking for her. The world is only filled with overpowered wild rabbit animals and crazy people. No, I'm sure it's fine you haven't started looking for her. Keep doing what you're doing. I get a lead saying she really likes hanging out with family friend mad scientist Dr. Kaminko, so I head over to his house and I'm about to knock on his creepy door when this tiny little blind man, Tobin, the doctor's assistant, walks up and is like, BURGLER! and challenges me to a battle, to which I win because he only has a level 5 sun turn. Jovi comes out and is like, Oh hi big brother, it's Jovi! Did you get lost, big brother? Silly big brother, Jovi will guide you back home. You're the one that got right, lost, bro. I see why no one's looking for her now. We return home to the lab, and they present me with a snag machine. A machine- She talks in the third person. Joby will now walk you home, says Joby. That allows the user to catch shadow Pokemon, which are Pokemon that have been so abused that they turn evil. That's now, cool. They're saying they haven't seen or heard of any shadow Pokemon that exist anymore because they've all been purified years ago. But who knows when they could start popping up again. Better be safe than sorry. One we enters the room. Some from a secret organization called Cypher bust into the lab, beat everyone up, steal Professor Crane, show off their shadow Pokemon, and run off. I knew it! To their secret base to Apologies. I knew it. Well, I'll be. The lab is in shambles. I, I knew it. What to do, but then Joe be on the floor. Besides, they're going to complete their purification chamber in his honor because shadow Pokemon are back and they want to do something about it. They okay. sent me off to this seaside town Gadion port to retrieve a machine part they need and joby pesters our mom to come with because joby doesn't think i can handle going out on my own and jo yeah i don't know why it's so laggy go watch it for yourself if you want real content the whole way. okay not only does this give me a second i'm going to figure out why it's laggy and i will be right back i'm going to do that cool transition I personally no idea what to do, so I'm just gonna we're just gonna keep watching. Snot talk in the third person for no reason. Maybe our I knew it. I know you, Jaden. Care enough to get us any education? Perhaps she was worried the teacher would give us a compliment. Heaven forbid. But she's also the most annoying character I've ever witnessed in any media. And I've watched an episode of My Hero Academia with a great kid in it. We go to Gaddion Port, and not two seconds pass until Joby pisses off this random guy, Zoo, who happens to be the muffest man in the world. He's about to punch her, and I'm about to do nothing about it. When this old man and his color-coded henchmen step in and obliterate his shadow Zan goose. Old man, I was about to be free of everything that is bad in my life, and you took that away from me. We get the part, head back, and mom tells me about this spot in Agate Village called the Relic Stone where you can naturally purify Pokemon. I don't know why you're making your own purifying chamber then when there's a rock that already does that. I go to Agate, and this very enthusiastic man with a Pikachu shows me the stone, and I'm like, cool. To which he's like, by the way, my friend Vander might know where Cypher took Crane. Oh. Okay. I go talk to Vander and he points to this random spot in the desert on my map and is like, Oh, they're right here. I saw them. What were you doing out there? That's literally just sand. <laughs> well, would you look at that? A headquarters. So I start infiltrating the base, battling all the- I'm just vibing to the background music. I don't know what to react to. I don't know what to say because I've said everything I've said. So I just stole my Reese's snagging any shadow Pokemon I find until I reach Pink Hat Tsunamiku who's trying to get information. I should probably go steal the back. Get over here! Now <laughs> Dory, and she's not dead. Oh. Actually, I, I think she's dead. Win, Whatever. Cyber's stupid Reese is back! Oh, 
I missed. Very important and like it has a lot of secret information about Cypher on it. I'm joking, this mic isn't plugged in. A guy that should be able to crack the ROM and access all the information on it. So Minecraft. I like, yeah, we yep. can crack this smile. While he's hacking it, I go out and play around in a random cave. And I'm gonna get a drink. Room. Goodbye. Hi, I'm back. My mom's coming out of her session. Mommy, don't screw up the video! Hi. For me, this guy doesn't do much in this game, honestly, but I just want don't to. Don't screw up the video! His music. Hi. I'll be right back. I'm going to tell her that I'm recording. Hi. Back. <laughs> yeah, I think she knows already. Anyways, continuing. I go check on that again. Oh I was just I about to completely jam out. Up and kidnap another person. Have you guys min maxed how to kidnap people or something? You're two for two at this point and are scarily efficient at it. They tried a hostage situation the data run back, and even though I beat up this big man and take all his shadow Pokemon, Ned still wusses out and gives the ROM back. He thought he was being two steps ahead because he saved. Yeah, also I forgot to post twice tomorrow, so now the people in uh my basement um are having a temper tantrum. Wait, are we still recording? Frick, the police are gonna come. I keep forgetting. I'm actually not. I'm actually joking. Police, if you're watching this, or if anybody's watching this who's about to call the anybody who is about to call the police, that's the funniest joke of the year. Saying that you have people locked in your basement when you don't actually—that it's funny. Okay, so just don't don't report me, please. Information on his server please, already, please. But Cypher just logs out please. and deletes everything anyway. That's sad. Ned says the only thing he remembers from the ROM was that Cypher was behind the disappearance of the SS Libra, and they're about to attack this city nearby called Fennec, and someone needs to go warn them. I guess I'm just Mr. Scooter across the desert and save everyone today, aren't I? I head to yes. Fennec to warn the mayor about the attack, and as soon as I it's arrive, less laggy now. he hits me with a confetti cannon, congratulates me on being the millionth visitor to the city, and shoos me away to celebrate at Real Gam Tower. I try to get around her because this is important, but she's determined to gatekeep me no matter what I do. So I just go there and okay. realize she literally sent a child to illegally gamble his life away. Wow! No one in this region likes children, do they? After not being able to figure out how to play bingo, I head back. Grass, to fire, the water, grass, air, water, grass, music, electricity, and the air, water. To a note to Justy, the city. Gym leader, warning him about I don't know why I paused. I don't know why the mayor. That I heard like uh, my dad talking outside. Because we're waiting for him to get back from his bike ride. Because I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. Show him something cool in a video game. Okay, so, anyways, so let's continue. So it doesn't matter. Cipher realizes I now know what's up, and everyone in town reveals themselves to be disguised cipher grunts. Oh my God! They kidnapped the entire town. I don't care what kind of organized. Even the butterfly. You're from, you Wait, was the butterfly like a butterfly Pokemon? Like butterfree? The entire town. To be disguised cypher grunts. Oh my god, they kidnapped the entire Well, it town. wasn't butterfree. Kind of they would have they should have made it butterfree. You can successfully kidnap I'm pretty girl. sure I've not watched you Pokemon show in a I while. I haven't played a Pokemon game in a while. So if I got the name wrong, please just in the city basement. Don't just call the police on me. Suspicious going on in the desert <laughs> points to another random sand spot on my map I should go investigate. Honestly, I don't know how I did that. Alright, I'll be fine now. Onto these shenanigans in the middle of the desert. And why are they able to give the latitude longitude of these locations after finding them? This has got to... I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I'm back and I have Hampton. The latitude longitude of these 
locations after finding them. This has got to be like tens of miles out from any sort of civilization. This is where people run out of gas in their car and then shrivel up and die before anyone can find them. Why were you here? Wow. Yep, that's the cargo ship. How did you find this? Alright, what is so enthralling about this desert that crime and vigilante justice is constantly going on in every square inch of this place? Cypher's running around on the ship, and after I take their shadow Pokemon and chase them out, this group of strangers calling themselves Team Snagum walks up and rupees me. I wake up, realize they stole my snack machine. This random old man who just started living in the wrecked boat said he saw them head off in that direction. And poops in the middle of nowhere on my back. Astro Hamster. You people are beyond me. I show up and wow, another headquarters for crime. I make my way she to the head back to Gon's app who's trying to put and on my snack pooping. machine, but he's too big and muscular. <laughs> and and since I am a child, it does not fit on his giant muscle arm. He pretty much gives up. That's rude, Zah. Uh, she gave me a hamster. She gave me the hamster back when it was pooping. Watch, I bet she's going to take it back when it's not pooping. Asks if I want to join Team Snagum. I said yes, but he fights me anyway. And after I beat him, he's like, actually, why are you? We're not Awesome. I'm going to pause this real quick. Okay, I'm back. I cleaned up the poop and I put the hamster away because I think she's unmanageable right now. So let's continue. So why am I here? You drugged me, stole my stuff, and then just called friendship and gave it back. I find Cypher's shadow Pokemon factory and walk up to the actual biggest man I've ever seen in the world. How na this game looks actually kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Naive I was to think Zoop was big. Foolish me. Anyway, they're about to beat me TF up when Gonzap shows up, expresses his devotion to our newly blossoming friendship, and the rubies them for me. Thanks, man. You're really consistent at that. I go inside and climb to the roof where their power generator is. There's a tiny little piece of paper there that says, Use system lever to adjust voltage. Do not raise voltage too high. Crank. A guy comes out and starts yelling at me with his Pokemon when the tiny old man who accidentally okay. ruined my life and got his on screen and it's like, She's got it back to school night. Yes. Come get me. This is my IP address. I, I, across the ocean. Hey, by the way, I got the microphone to work. Just going to let you know that. I realized that my microphone was turned off the first time I was doing the mic test. Can you speak up, Sandra? I can't hear you. I, I was talking to my mom. Don't worry, guys. Life. It's okay. So I take this Robo Kyogre from Kaminko. Speedboat. Whoa. And you guessed it. Fight everyone in the building slash volcano until I get to the big little man. After fighting big an little man, country's worth of people, I find him. His name's Greeble, by the way. And he's like, I'm surprised you made it this far. Ha 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 ha. Well, I'm busy. Don't bother me. And blocks me with a giant pane of glass. Honestly, out of all the fictional villains I've seen, this is surprisingly decently reasonable. But I'm not gonna just sit here and stare at him behind the glass like a goldfish at PetSmart. So I just walk around and use the side door, which really sets him off. I mean, dude, either lock the door or don't have it. This is just what doors do. Gravel's like, you blew up our shadow Pokemon factory. You got past my glass. That's it. I'm summoning Shadow Lugia, the first Pokemon to ever be unpurifiable. Come forth and obliterate this small boy. To which I just master ball it. Really overlooked that one, didn't you, mate? You may not be. I just realized most of the light is actually coming from the screen. So if you see, like, my face getting dark and then lighting back up, it's weird. Purifiable, but he's mine now. Huge L. Reval gets so beyond pissed that he decides to open his creepy eyes and fight me oh my himself. Gosh. And I was surprised to realize not only does he have a team of all shadow Pokemon, but he somehow nabbed Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. I'll be honest, it was a really, really hard fight because shadow Pokemon are super effective against all non-shadow Pokemon. I don't Wait a minute, she never mentioned anything about catching any Pokemon. Jaden, you might have to redo the video. I mean, you can use the same drawings, but, like, you might have to, like, you know, sort of, like, maybe add in how you can catch Pokemon in a Pokemon game like this. <coughs> Finds Pokemon in chest. Oh my gosh. I don't know how it took me this long to tell you that, but that's how it works. So instead of trying to catch them all like I've been doing this whole time, 
I really just beat them up and they ran away. So I win. Cypher has officially lost everything, and it's all because of me, the little boy. Blue henchman runs up to Greville and is like, Sir, I have a plan. Let's blow up the island with the kid on it. Which is like, oh my god. And then Red Henchman is like, okay, that's a bit too far, man. Dad, let's go home. Yeah, they pulled the I'm your father slash son twist on us. But it has very little effect on me because I do not care about these people. Anyway, they decide to not blow up the island with me on it and stop being evil, I think. I'm like 60% sure. And then happy ending, I just go home. So what do you think? <laughs> For some reason, I really liked the game as a kid. I never actually beat it because I didn't know how to get past the gatekeeping woman in Fennec. But I figured it out this time. I also wanted to mention how lively the animations are in this game. Sure. Very cool. First, some of the Pokemon look god awful. They gave Houndor human knees that bent forward, but they're all just so expressive and show so much care and personality. It may be pretty sad that current games don't show this much passion, but I guess that's just what makes these games more charitable. Actually, yeah, all the Pokemon games now are like jump. Oh yeah, that was just like a body slam. Jumps forward two millimeters, like. That's not how it works. I don't even think millimeters is the right measurement type that I should be using, but I don't care. Not two centimeters. So that way you math nerds are happy. All right, let's just finish this video. Anyway, the game was fun and weird. I liked it. See ya. Hey, uh okay, yeah, that was cool. Goodbye. You know, I was supposed to, like, cut it off at, like, in the middle of my, me talking, but I guess I'm not going to do that this time. I would have expected it to cut right there.